Hi everyone, so this is my three minute reflective vlog for DTN303 Nutrition Education for Adults um, and it will be structured around the Gibbs Reflective Model, which you can see on the screen. Um, my nutritionally vulnerable group was people aged over 70 who were living independently in the community um, and I did my nutrition session for my participants over Zoom, which was about half an hour. How was I feeling when conducting the session? Well, I was actually kind of nervous because I don't think presenting information like educationally is my strong point and something about using Zoom kind of gives me anxiety. Um, I, was also, I was also feeling like I was worried that I was maybe like boring the participants a bit with some of the information and, you know, some of the information about serving sizes can feel a bit like clinical in a way. Um, after the session was over, I felt good and I felt like I was helping the participants by giving them the information. Um, I was also proud of myself that I did it even though I was nervous. I think all in all the session went well and it was received well. Um, I do think doing the session over Zoom made it harder for both me and the participants because it's so hard to demonstrate things visually over a screen compared to real life. Um, and obviously, because of the age of the participants, I think the educational resources probably would have been easier to go through in real life on a physical piece of paper rather than than an image. Also, the post-evaluation and pre-evaluation quizzes would have been easier for them to complete and for me to like look at if it was in person as well. Um, I think Zoom really kind of is not the best way to conduct sessions like this. Like. In theory it works, but it's so much more natural to communicate with people face to face because, you know, there's more like body language um, and for something like this, obviously it'd be easier to physically show things like a serving size and get the participants to interact and practice measuring a serving size, seeing it on the plate, stuff like that. Um, and the fact that some participants got things wrong on the post-evaluation quiz means that I didn't really cover something enough or I didn't really emphasise it enough. So obviously that's not ideal. Um, I also think I was a bit preoccupied with my notes and maybe with the order of the activities. So it probably some parts maybe sounded a bit formal instead of rather like a conversation like it was supposed to be. Um, and there was also some things that I had to like check my notes a lot, like the serving sizes and stuff. So um, I was a bit kind of clinging to the, the notes at some point. Um, I think all in all, some people are better suited to conducting sessions like these than others. So I think in the future, I'd definitely like to practice more beforehand. Um, I also think next time I'll do more planning to make sure I've covered everything enough and emphasise the right things. And just so that I can clarify some things more. Um, for the future, my action plan would be to learn some of the information more, like especially about the serving sizes. Um, and also research maybe ways to educate specific to Zoom, kind of. Like, so activities and stuff that actually work well on Zoom. Um, I think overall I'd also just try to be more natural and to try and, like, talk more. Like, we're just having a conversation, like, rather than a formal lesson as well. Um, overall, the, the whole experience for me did, like, push me outside my comfort zone and it made me think about different ways to communicate ideas, like, in layman's terms. So I'm glad that I got the experience.